these are some of the most popular salmon steelhead fishing rods in the world guys and the sales of these rods speak for themselves Aloha guys, Scuba Chris here. Just got this tube, but uh, packing this stuck to it from Okuma, but it's folded in a way that I can't read what's in it. So, I like getting tubes like this, because it only means one thing. Um, either I'm gonna have to try out a new rod, or, um, they're just going to um, ask me to test it out in the field. Either way, I'm going to enjoy it. Ah, wow, this is really good packaging. A, a lot better than what you expect from Amazon nowadays. This is the end of it. Looks like there's two rods in here, four individual pieces. And the, the end is also, this is very good packing. What do you think? So let's see what we got. This looks pretty good and I like that copper coloring. Well, actually I got a couple. So this here is an Akuma SST. So let me read to you what this uh, this is because it's just easier this way. This is a uh, SST-S, S stands for spinning, dash 902 MH. So 902 means 90 is a nine footer, the two, 902 the two means in two pieces, medium age means he medium heavy um, action. So let me look at this. It's rated for 10 to, wow, 10 to 30 pound test line, a half to two ounces. So it, it's, it's a salmon spin rod. So basically this was first engineered for the uh, people up in the Pacific Northwest to go for salmon, trout, um, but works very well here in hawaii for guys who do um shoreline whipping which is spin casting with grubs and small lures jigs along the shoreline so this is a very welcome addition and is a very strong rod with good stats all right guys so when it comes to loose rods do, do you want to carry this connected and have a long piece that you can crack on a, a branch or a fence. Uh, no, you want to carry it separately like this, but it's kind of humble holding on to two pieces. Um, you get the reel on it, you get line coming off. So what I do is I use these, these are called fishing butlers. I show this a lot of times, but this is what it looks like. And uh, what it is, is it's a very simple device. They, they come in all different colors. I know I sound like a commercial, but I don't use it unless if it works. And what I do is you make, you just put it to the top. So you pull on it, put it to the bottom. Like so, pull up, pull on the tab, that's it. With the weight of the reel here, it doesn't matter. It's one whole piece. So it, um, you just carry it going in like this. Now, if you have uh, two or three rods, I carry a shoulder harness and I um, carry it that way. Or if the light rods like this, I get a larger um, unit like this. And I'll it's a, about maybe two to three times longer, depending on what size you want. And I'll strap everything together and I'll carry in this one. Pretty cool, huh? This was the other rod that was in there. Actually, uh, one of the other two rods in there, they sent me two of these. All right. So this here, this is the SST. Um, this is the Guide Select Pro. Uh, according to 
uh, John Bressa, this is one of the best sellers out there that Akuma has. It, it's sold, sold all over the world, not just in the U.S. Um, and it's basically it was intended for the people who are targeting um, salmon steelheads, trout salmon up in the Pacific Northwest. It's, that's where I first got introduced to this type of fishing, where I got the float rods and I was um, going up to the streams, putting out my um, salmon eggs, or letting it float down with the current. And I tell you, very, very serious people up there who know their equipment and that style works. So this is the 992M. Uh, the, the nine nine means that it's nine foot nine, uh, nine foot nine. And the two means as in two pieces, right? M is for uh, medium application. This one here, this is the GSP dash S. So you have the dash S obviously for spinner and the dash C is for big casters or uh, uh, casting reels. So the line weight in this one is 8 to 17 pounds. That's the recommended range. But of course, you know, when you use thicker line like fluoro and mono compared to braid. There is some give and take in that. Um, and the lure weight is 3 eighths to 1 ounce. So it gives you a pretty good range. Here in Hawaii, um, we'll go out with hammer bombs, which is kind of like a egg lead, but more of a resin ball form. And I, I, I basically like half to three quarters so this fits that range pretty good so this way it's just like a lead egg i can toss it out there with a grub on it i can go for shoreline species or i can go uh for jigging which i recently been loving for the last year shoreline jigging is great i got the blue ones for these you don't have to pull it tight just snug I tell you these things are so great to have Some of the local uh, taco shops are they have been carrying this for years and they have their own logos not on this side but on this side here they, they put little stickers on it with the logos for the stores that's how i get turned on to this really works so like i said they sent me two they're exactly identical probably because they think that when you watch my videos i'm going to set up two rods out um while i take another one um they maybe down just a little bit down from it to go uh, whipping, which is uh, spin casting or jigging, which is true. I can set these up, put them out about maybe 30, 40 feet apart, set out some lines, go uh, for just shoreline species like bonefish and jacks. But I'll take the other one down and I, I can uh, cast a little farther out for something a little bit bigger. But perfect, absolutely perfect. I love this stuff. Now uh, this stool has the plastic on, I'm probably going to leave it on, I'm just going to use one and, and put this on the side as a backup, but I might take both out this weekend, but with the winds the way they are, I'm not sure if I want to do that, I'm probably just going to take one and just go along the shoreline and do a bit of walking. This is actually, uh, I can't tell you how many units they sell a year, John told me this is one of their best sellers, I mean, there's a reason why this sells well, it's not only the Pacific Northwest, but it's here in Hawaii too. Uh, a lot of fishermen are beginning to realize how good a rod this is. It's popular overseas from Australia all the way to Saudi Arabia. So, and the main thing about this rod, the main thing about this type of rod here, look at your warranty. Limited lifetime warranty, guys. That means um, you fill out your information, you send it back to the company. And for the lifetime of this rod, the lifetime, it will be place free on natural breakdown. That means that if the parts, uh, like say if this breaks here, or the parts are wearing down from just over usage, natural wear, the company will replace it free. You're still gonna have to mail this back, but um, they will give you a free one in exchange and they'll pay for the shipping back. So it's kind of worth it. Not many companies will offer that. And Okuma for years has been noted for the rods. They, they come so far in the rod technology that's why i use this and it's so so light you know so that's my report and that's what i have so i'd like to say again thank you to akuma thank you to john and davy over at akuma for keeping me well supplied and i'll continue using your products and i'll show everybody else how good they are thank you